worm. Prepare yourself. Damn sane. Ooh, so that Samurai Jack episode. Wow. Okay, so first of all, that was probably one of my favorite episodes of anything that I've seen recently, and that's including the Dragon Ball Super episode that we that I just watched uh, a little bit ago. But it, it, it was just so much epicness and so much um, artistic style in it. The action was was jam packed in this episode, and it, actually the beginning reminded me so much more of the old Samurai Jack episode. It has a coup essentially waking up it has Aku doing his goofy little Aku things and then he's getting tributes they're telling him how they they his scientists created a death robot and he says you know he doesn't care about really you know facing the samurai he doesn't really care he seems like a little bit down on his dumb down down on his luck a little bit and then he he and himself become kind of a therapist like it's, he makes a therapist version of himself and he talks about how he figured the samurai would have died by now or died of old age and he doesn't seem to be aging and he's just destroying all the robots that he's sending to him and that really gave you know shot red flags in my in my uh in my head that aku is not behind the daughters of aku he did not send in my opinion from what i can gather from this episode he did not send those fighters those ninjas against uh, or created them he, he didn't send them against uh, he sends robots essentially he doesn't send he doesn't, he doesn't send people against uh, uh, jack and you know one of the main things that i kind of noticed from this the beginning of this episode was that uh Ku's voice actor uh, i heard that or I, I believe that his the voice actor for the original aku uh passed away so this one did as best as he could but it just lacked this a certain uh, high pitchedness it was more low key more uh had more depth to it it was a, a little lower but overall i mean after a few episodes it's not going to be distracting it's it's not the worst aku impersonation it's actually pretty good it just again it's different you can definitely tell the difference if you watch the old show and then you see what looks like to be an analogy between uh a wolf walking through a forest and then jack riding his motorcycle through a forest and a, and then the wolf gets attacked by these huge tigers that look like some sort of alien tiger thing and then jack gets attacked by the giant bug that he destroys really easily but then he gets attacked by the sister the daughters of a coup which he believes to be robots or machines and he's essentially this this fight scene alone this episode alone was amazing like the fight scene alone was so dramatic so fast paced like they were extremely fast it was essentially what we saw in the intro which was good but then we saw a couple other things a couple other images they literally destroy the armor right off of samurai jack and he runs to a temple a nearby temple they chase him down and um actually before that he has a little he hides underneath the body of one of the robot that was said originally to attack him and it looks like the old samurai jack he's have, kind of having like some sort of split personality disorder type of thing and the old samurai jack is telling him that uh you know he essentially everything's hopeless this and that there's only one way to go out and with honor and it, essentially he's talking about saying uh saying go uh, i can't i can't think of that word right now i'm, I'm a little tired but Essentially, what samurais do when they lose, or they lose their masters, Sengoku, Goboku, something like that. Let me let me actually look it up. Seppuku. That was that was the uh, that was the word seppuku. So essentially, he's kind of hinting at that, and Jack won't do it and won't listen to him. And then um, that's it. He's the, 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 the mirage or the, the other personality, other Jack is telling him that he needs to basically kill himself to. Um, you know be with his ancestors and essentially that's what it's hinting that that samurai on top of the horse with the antlers on his head that that's the samurai from that those are his ancestors or whatever so or i'm assuming his dad more than likely so you know he again he running to this temple this, this temple and he's and it was a great the, the temple scene was probably the favorite part of the whole episode you see him running and He's hiding in, in certain. He, he hides, and the, the daughters of Aku are trying to search for him, but they can't find him. So they hide themselves, waiting for him to come out. He comes out eventually, and then they chase him down. He fights them. Um, the fight with it in this in this in this kind of a temple uh, throne room or whatever 
uh, he's hiding and it's like this this really like a lot of uh, anticipation and a lot of um, a lot of uh, just so much angst in the scene where he's trying to hide from them and this lightning uh, this lightning bug is kind of floating above him and they, they eventually find out where he is and you can tell they're when they're beating him up you know it's hurting him because he's like screaming in pain and stuff and again they're destroying pieces of armor off of him and like i believe the best part in this is when he's fighting like the fight scene with this with this daughter of aku he's fighting this chick and eventually he gets the sword right out of her right out of her arm or her hand and then slices her throat and he's surprised cracks her face uh, mask and slices her throat and he's surprised to see that there's blood coming out and then the mask deteriorates and he finds that it's a girl and then he realizes that he also got stabbed and then this also shows uh something from the earlier episode where he got the little knife from the robot that vibrates and explodes things he pulls it she apparently had it and she he pulls it from her and blows up the temple by hitting the wall the hitting the walls and jumps off into the water and essentially is bleeding to death and then it goes back to the wolf where the wolf is essentially dead and that all the tigers are dead so great episode uh i was not expecting that i was not expecting the how artistic it was how uh how much depth the episode had and just how mature it was honestly and not just because of the blood but some of the themes in it so i really did enjoy this episode and uh yeah so anyway guys let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this uh, samurai jack episode and uh drop me a like if you like my video and as always it's gonna be dragon ball black signing off